There is a bird few have seen in the forests of Papua, Indonesia. It exists in relative silence and lives behind signs of its existence. This creature is secretive and also holds a secret. It keeps the forest future. An unknowing architect that builds the forest with every meal, every step. In this place, people and forests live together. Without this bird, the forest as we know them will cease to exist. This is very easy to use. And you can use Mawang, Mawang too. Malagufuk, a small village in the lowland forest of West Papua, sits within the world's third largest rainforest, a place of exceptional biodiversity and ecological importance. Here, traditional knowledge and scientific inquiry unite. Forest guides Bastian Magablo, Nimrod Kalami, and Yancha Kalami are working alongside Tim Lemon and myself, Yoki Hardy Prakarsha, to deploy camera traps, non-invasive tools that let us observe wildlife without disturbing it. The species that we're trying to document here is called the northern cassowary. It's found along the northern side of the big island of New Guinea. The cassowary is a species that is really important for the forest, but it's not that well known, but the populations are declining as habitat is reduced, and in many areas, it's facing a lot of hunting pressure. Kalau menurut saya, masih banyak kasuari, tetapi ya begitu, kalau melihat pasti setengah mati, karena itu binatang liar. Mereka buka hidup satu tempat, pasti hari ini, ah, ada Buah-buahan di sini, pasti mereka makan besok lagi, mereka pindah lagi. Though people rarely see them, cassowaries play a profound ecological role. They help build this forest by consuming large fruit and dispersing seeds far away from the parent tree. But detecting this bird challenges us. It moves silently through dense vegetation, leaving only footprints, croppings, and occasionally restless in the undergrowth. You can hear birds of paradise calling. You can hear hornbills flying overhead and running across tracks of massive cassowaries in the muddy parts of the trail here. Here's a pile of fruits. There's the cassowary track right here. Oh, see the toe? As big as my hand. So he's not too far away, maybe just a couple hundred meters. Yeah. We've been exploring the forest, finding locations where we see signs of cassowaries, things like a fruiting tree, animal trails, clay licks, and we've been placing out these cameras now for the past week or so. They are very big, but they are very hard to see in the forest. They're very elusive and they're not so predictable. Wow! Oh. So now we're in the Papua, the third biggest rainforest in the world. <laughs> Unbelievable. The fig trees, when it's fruiting, it's like a supermarket in the rainforest. Yeah. Because you can see all the creatures from the top and from the ground. Sangat besar. Udah sudah lama tidak pernah melihat sebesar ini. Even their pandan tree is also gigantic. <laughs> oh. It's amazing to be in the forest where all these big trees are still here, right? They haven't been cut down, all intertwined with the, the bird life. It's a good example that Papua forest is not just for the Papua, not just for the Indonesians, but also for the world because the 
a role to absorbing the carbon and, you know, maintaining the climate, right? Yeah. They say this is one of the ironwood trees. Ironwood right? is hardwood, supposed to be so very it's slow. A really slow growing tree. So yeah. It could be hundreds of years old. Oh, man. This could be an interesting place to put a camera. We got a nice view of the forest with the big tree behind there, and we've got a, got a trail coming along the river bank here, close to the river. And we think that uh, this is a place that'd be used by cassowaries as they move through this area. Yeah, I think that's good. This bird is one of the heaviest birds living in the world. Yeah, how much do they weigh? Uh, I'm now 70. Yes, about my weight. About your weight, like 60, 70 kilos? 60, 70 kilos. Wow, and then how tall? How tall you are? I'm about 190 centimeters. 190? Yeah. And 170 is probably about so right this about, size. about our height, between yes, us. Yes, between us. Between us. It's a huge, huge bird. <laughs> that's a big bird. Yeah. yeah. So that's the biggest animal in the New Guinea rainforest, right? Yes, because absolutely. There's no big mammals here. There's yep. no big mammals at all. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the bird is the biggest animal. Yeah, in Papua. Even though it's a huge bird, it's difficult to see, right? It's so elusive. Yeah. The cassowary have a short digestive system. So it means when swallowing this big, the seeds will come out harmlessly. Yeah. So that's why, you know, they're also effective for dispersing the seeds. Yeah, and probably no other bird that can disperse this seed. Oh yeah, big with seed. this big, for yeah. sure. But right underneath the tree, I mean, the seed could germinate here, but then it's just competing with the mother tree, right? Mother tree, so is. it's a big benefit to the species, to the tree, if the, the tree seeds are spread far away from the mother tree. By a, by a, by a cassowary. Yeah. This is a huge pile of cassowary poops. This is a good example of the ecological roles of the cassowary. While in the sky, we have hornbills who also dispersing the seed. And on the ground in Papua, we have one of the largest living birds. The camera's fogged again? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Slowly, these forest secrets begin to be revealed. The camera captures many surprises, each one offering a glimpse into the rich biodiversity that hides among the trees. We experience moments of success, but the casualty stay just out of reach, tantalizingly close, yet never fully seen. Oh, we got a Part of a cassowary. Come on, turn around. Uh, Come back. We got a cassowary butt. Filming cassowaries takes more than technology. It requires persistence, precision, local knowledge, and a deep respect for the forest rhythms. For months, we wait, watch, wonder. Then, as if answering us, Oh, 
That's amazing. Yeah. 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 Wow. We know from scientific research that uh, cassowaries have a unique parental care system where the male takes care of the chick, not the female. The female lays the egg, but then the male incubates the egg and then takes care of the chick. We were able to capture several different age chicks, from really small one up to a juvenile, but still with the father. We even caught a moment where the father seems to be showing the chick what it can eat. Here's the track of a male cassowary followed by his chick. In following the northern cassowary, we've come to understand more than just a bird. We've seen how life moved through this forest, carried in beaks and bellies, scattered in silence, and nurtured by time. You want to try it, Tim? She good. Yeah? Yeah. You sure it's not one that already went through a cassowary? <laughs> I think this is still fresh. It has a sweet and uh, good acidity. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely in the mango family, right? It's mango family, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The cassowaries, they don't really seem to enjoy the flavor of their fruits. They just like, whoop, straight down. Yeah, and then the, the, on the digestive would be basically just squeeze the juice of, out yeah. of it and then just yeah. release it. Yeah, because what we saw is still intact everything, right? Yeah. Even the flesh is still there. Yep. Cassowaries sustain the forest, but so do the people of Malagufuk who call this forest home. They serve as the guardians of this forest, protecting both cassowary and canopy with quiet determination. Their futures are bound together. Imagine this forest without their unseen stewards without cassowaries to carry seeds across the land. The forest, as we know it, would be unable to renew itself. But with each fruit swallow, with its seeds scattered, the future of the forest is sustained. This is the cassowary's timeless role, one that will safeguard Papua's forest for generations yet to come. The harapan saya untuk Hutan ini dikenal oleh dunia. Harapan saya untuk kita semua, keluarga yang di Malagufo, ya dan juga untuk mungkin anak-anak kami dari belakang lagi, generasi yang berikut, semoga terjaga sampai seterusnya itu saja. <laughs>